Hello and welcome to the tutorial on fractions. And in this tutorial we will go through adding fractions. So let's have a look at our question that we're going to work through. Calculate 3 and 2 thirds plus 1 and a half. 3 and 2 thirds plus 1 and a half. Now the first thing to notice is that this is a two mark question. So make sure that you show your workings out. Now I'm going to go through this step by step. The first step is to add the whole numbers. So let's write that down. Add the whole numbers. Now it is important to note that everything I'm writing in yellow you do not have to write down. I'm just explaining everything that we go through. So add the whole numbers. That is 3 plus 1, and that gives us 4. Now the second part is to add the fractions using a common write this down here, denominator. Add the fractions using a common denominator. So let's do that. Well, the fractions we have are 2 thirds plus a half. So what is a common denominator for these? Well, we know that 3 and 2, we can use the common denominator of 6. Now let's look at the first fraction, 2 thirds. In order for the denominator to equal 6, we have to multiply by 2. If we multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator by 2. So let's write this down. The 2 thirds becomes 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. So that's the first fraction rewritten with the denominator as 6. Now we're going to work on the second fraction, a half. Now in order to get the denominator to equal 6, we have to multiply it by 3. And if we're multiplying the denominator by 3, we have to multiply the numerator by 3. So this becomes 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. And let's switch colors again. So now we have the fractions 4 sixths plus 3 sixths. Just to highlight this, this is what we've done. And now we can simply add these together. So our answer is now 4 plus 3 is 7 sixth. So we have now added the fractions together. The 2 thirds plus a half equals 7 sixths. Now we're not done yet. The final step is to add the whole numbers and the fractions, add and simplify. Now simplify where necessary. So this simply becomes, I'm going to switch back to green again. We have 4, which is adding the whole numbers, adding the fractions, we had 7 sixths. Now rewriting this, the 7 sixths becomes 1 and 1 sixth. So now we have 4 plus 1 and 1 sixth. Add them together, we have 5 and 1 sixth. So that is our answer, 5 and 1 sixth. Just going to underline this. Now everything I've written in yellow gives you a step-by-step -step approach. You do not need to write that in the exam. But everything else, if you follow it, you will understand it. And if you replicate it in the exam, you will get the 
maximum two marks.